Alright. Overall energy level we have for you is just a second. Oh O C D. Don't mind. We have the death in reverse, okay? So this talks about um, either someone from your past is coming back, okay? This is someone who you haven't ended things with, all right? Or this is someone who is just resisting and ending to certain things, all right? Um, we'll see. In the past, I feel that there was clarity about a situation. Maybe there was a very, very difficult decision that you had to make. You had to choose between two very, very unpleasant choices, okay? very difficult choices. And either you made a decision or the other person that you're dealing with, they made a decision about something and there was a lot of clarity. Okay, You saw things more clearly is what I'm saying. Into the current moment, I feel that with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, something's come to a complete standstill. Okay, uh, Something's just not moving forward. Either you have come to a halt, maybe you wanted, you were moving towards someone with a lot of stability, security, okay, maybe you wanted to offer someone, commit, some, someone a commitment, but everything's come to a halt right now. Nothing's moving, okay? This person is definitely not chasing you or forcing you or you're not doing to this person, okay? On the person that you're dealing with, with the Four of Cups in reverse, so this person is probably almost like, you know what, they've accepted something as a missed opportunity, okay? They could have been sitting and sulking and isolated on for a very long time for either in fear of rejection, or maybe they were wanting an offer from you, or you wanted to give them an offer, but it's more like, you know what, they were probably wanting to offer you something, but either you rejected their offer, or they were waiting for something more from you okay it's an energy of a lot of discontentment a lot of dissatisfaction okay however it's like for them they're like you know what i accept what it is and that's fine i'm just going to move forward all right so yeah there is a missed opportunity missed opportunity or for them you're just the one who got away what you're doing here how they view you with a hang on you so they view you as doing a lot of thinking okay they also view you as someone who's put things on hold okay so either they view you as, they view you as someone who's just doing nothing all right it's a, a period of inaction it's a lot of period of a lot of um introspection it's that's a very meditative very spiritual energy okay so it's like everything's on hold and you're just not doing any, anything about it it's almost like you want to give something a lot of thought a lot of thought so maybe I'm assuming that in the past you could have made a decision and you were very clear about it. And that's why you probably stopped moving towards this person. All right. And now you're just not doing anything. You're not making a move. Okay. It's like you want to think and think and think before you take action. All right. Because the Knight of Pentacles is someone who will come in, but they'll come in correct. Okay. Their offers and whatever they bring into the table, it will stand the test of time. So right now there's someone who's holding back, okay? They just don't feel confident enough or there's just someone lazy who doesn't want to put in the effort or there's someone who wants to give an offer, they want to offer commitment, but they're very fear of change. They're very fearful of change, okay? And that the deepest emotions they have is the nine of cups. So they're almost like, you're like a wish fulfillment for them or, or this is someone who you're dealing with who's smug okay they'll like just do things that will make them happy okay ice creams milkshakes video games okay it's like i don't really know if that makes you happy but it makes me happy so that's what i'm going to do that's the kind of energy i'm getting here okay with the nine of cups it's like i'm very happy i'm emotionally independent and i don't need you to make me happy okay so i'm just going to do me and i'm going to do whatever um gives me emotional fulfillment okay this person doesn't need anyone to be fulfilled that's what i'm getting in their deepest emotions okay so if you guys have broken up what do they think about reconciling and if you guys are with each other how do they want to move forward with you i definitely see someone who doesn't want to move forward with you with the ten of wands in reverse this is someone you could have been in this relationship with this person for a very very long time or they could have and you guys could have been in a very long term commitment for a very long time it doesn't have to be but it's been a relationship which has been very on and off okay very on and off and this could have been a long tiring road for you and them okay to to an extent where this relationship after a while became very exhausting to them and it was very frustrating okay it was weighing them down and they are almost ready to let this relationship go okay they're laying off this relationship they're laying off this situation because anyways on their mind they feel it's a missed opportunity and they're like you know what nah, all right no problem I, I see this person having an acceptance of a situation is what I'm saying. Like, all right, I wasn't um, 
very satisfied. That's fine. I waited and waited and waited for things to get better. More like I waited for things to come to be my way. So I think this person is letting go of expectations of whatever expectations they had with this um, connection. They're letting, they're letting it go because anyways, holding on, it's almost like they're overwhelmed with this situation, okay? And that could be a lot of expectations that they had from this relationship or you could have had from this relationship and now you're letting it go, okay? Which is good, right? The more you try to control the outcome, the heavier it burdens on you, all right? So what you don't see coming or what is going on in the background, what you don't see coming, what is going on behind the scenes is the six of pentacles. So I feel that it can be, it can go two ways. Either this person is giving to two people, all right? Or this person, one person wants to work, okay? One person wants to work this out and they want this to be an equal give and take, okay? So what I'm almost getting is that, you know, one person is fed up and tired of putting in the effort and uh, they're like completely backing out. And now they're like, you know what? I made you happy for a very long time, but it just gave me nothing back. And now I'm going to do what makes me happy. And now there's another person who's almost realized this. And now they're wanting to put in equal effort, okay? So someone wants equal reciprocity. They want an equal exchange of something. Emotions, conversations. It can be affection. It can be anything, okay? Just equal investment from both the sides. Your advice is, with the nine of wands in reverse here, your advice is to get your guards down, okay? Maybe you are have severe trust issues with this person okay maybe you feel this person is you know like completely out there to get you okay you probably are very afraid of this person or uh you just had like i said right you've been it's been a very long it's been a long coming okay with this person you could have given this person like a fifty thousand chances and they kept hurting you every single time all right so i think with the nine of wands in reverse here i'm still going to clarify it's almost like um let your guards down all right, it's just not as bad as you think it is. Why the nine of wands and reverse here as advice? Yeah, it's almost like move forward. Okay, for the challenge. Okay, for the challenge. Okay, for the challenge. No, give me one card. It's asking you to move forward with the chariot here. Yeah, it's asking you to free yourself. Free yourself of any expectations, free yourself from any kind of overthinking that you're doing, okay? I think it's more like asking you stop pushing forward, okay? If it's not working out, it's not working out. Just accept the reality, all right? So probably you're holding on, you're wanting to persevere uh, this relationship or you're like, you know what, I'm going to give this my last shot, although you're tired, battered, wounded. That's the wounded warrior, all right? But the advice is you got to go, give it up, all right? With the charity, move forward forward the chariot is a part of moving forward okay with without this person that's up to you right but with the chariot and the eight of swords in reverse here what i'm hearing is free yourself from any kind of situation that you feel stuck tight bound or restricted to okay you're not as stuck and bound to this relationship or the situation as much as you think you are okay you have the you have the capacity in you capability in you to release yourself from something okay it's all in your head it's not really in the 3d world all right so you can do this only if you want to do it all right so don't be a victim don't victimize yourself all right and move forward it's almost like the universe is on your side and with the charity it's like full speed have your leg on the accelerator and move forward all right the likely outcome is the world in reverse here okay so uh, that is probably almost like an unfinished business okay unfinished cycle so what i'm assuming is that um either it's going to be where one person is completely re leaving the relationship you're going to cut someone off they're going to cut you off abruptly and one of you is not going to be in enough terms is not going to have terms uh, um, to end the relationship okay you're not going to be able to realize why and what went wrong or it's just going to be an unfinished business between you guys. Okay, Maybe you're just not going to be able to finish the cycle. What happens sometimes is that we always wait for closure. Like, oh, you know what? I want the entire cycle to be over. Like that like that feeling of, um, of finishing, completing something, right? So maybe you're just not going to get that closure. Okay, Maybe you're just never going to know of why it wasn't like an ending ending. Okay, you just may not, it just may not click that, you know what? All right, this is the end. Okay, sometimes... The closure is there, but we are probably wanting a closure that is according to us, okay? That probably we think that this is how the closure should be. But that's what I'm assuming you're not going to get, all right? But for you, the advice is 
move on. And with the nine of cups here, I feel that do what makes you happy, all right? Continue doing what you have to because anyways, there was no equal give and take. And maybe you're almost like you were borderline like bored with this relationship you were just very complacent and you were just not happy with what you were receiving all right so yeah i feel that i think this is completely about um and things that i always understand so all right so it's, it's a very burdensome relationship with the ten of wands in reverse here so you've anyways laid off the situation okay you're done i feel someone's done here okay but the problem here is that there's you are still trying to hold on to the relationship like no let me give it one more shot you know i don't want to feel guilty about it but the thing is that you're almost you're done with it you're quite clear in your head about it so why wait right i mean maybe there are a lot of other opportunities there for you but you're stuck here and stuck here why because of the eight of swords free yourself release yourself from any situation that keeps you stuck all right is what i'm going to say don't overthink that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. That'll be really cool. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.